Hello friends, I am super excited. Today is July 3rd. I am home from work. It's actually not even, okay, it's just after five. It's 5.12. Um, I got off work a little bit early today. Not by choice, but you wanna go outside? Um, my manager ended up dismissing the rest of the staff that was in the office a little bit early today, so I actually left about 4.15. I had a plan to go to the grocery store, but literally as I pulled up, I went to both Walmart and I went to like Foods Co. And as I pulled up to both of them, just looking at the parking lot, I was like, I can't even, I can't even do this. Like, I refuse. So I'm waiting for my hubby to get home and we might go to Sam's Club, but I might push that off too. Um, the only reason that I would not push it off it's because Elias does need some formula and we either have to get it probably today or tomorrow or tomorrow or Friday. So it's like we may as well go today because we don't have anything planned for the rest of the evening. But I do have an exciting thing. Not only are we off for the next four days, but also I got a rug. Yeah. Okay, guys, I bought this huge, gorgeous rug from Walmart. Good thing Kiki was not under there because I would have smushed her. Um, it's gorgeous. I'm so excited. I'm going to pop it open. We're actually redoing our living room. I haven't said this, but we really needed, um, not needed, I guess, but we, our sofa was not the right size for our living room. And since we mounted my husband's TV, the layout was just funky. So we, we wanted to get a new sofa anyway. I've been wanting to get a rug for this room because we don't have one. And I feel like with Elias, it just makes really good sense because this is where we spend the most, most of our time. Um, so I've been looking for one and I finally decided on this guy. Our sofa is coming next week. It will be here just in time for his birthday party. Um, and then we have a couple other things that are coming too, like just a little accents. So whew, it's gonna be a lot, but it's gonna look totally different in here and I'm really excited about it because I think it's gonna be gorgeous so let me pop open the rug and I'll show you guys All right, guys, here is the rug. Oh my gosh, I think it's so pretty. Oh, I'm obsessed. It looks very light. I mean, it might be very light, but what I love about it is all of like the color here and it just looks like it's faded, you know? So it looks worn. Um, I'm just turning the light on here. This light is pretty like white, so it's pretty true. Um, so it is pretty light. And I know like that's something that people are gonna think I'm probably crazy for doing, but I think with all of the blues and the grays, the yellows and pinks in here, like it's gonna hide stains so well. And I feel like you're not even gonna notice if something gets spilled on here, unless it's like brown, obviously, um, then that would, you know, that would be a problem. But other than that, I feel like it's not gonna be very noticeable. Even, I mean, even brown probably wouldn't be very noticeable either. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to kind of play around with the placement of it. I actually might flip it around because it seems like this side has a little more color to it than this side does. Actually, this might be a good side to have out this way because I'm thinking the sofa is going to go like along this edge here and whichever edge is closest to the sofa tends to get like the most stuff on it because you like sit on the sofa and you eat there, you know? Um, but, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed so the biggest thing that Elias like spills right now are like blueberries um, that he's eating in his little like teether suction thingy, teether passy. But obviously that wouldn't be a problem because this rug has so much blue in it. So that was really 
my train of thought with this rug. And honestly, like, I really love it because of all of our pillows. Like, everything just goes so well. And I really like to accent our home with blues. Um, like, you see this navy blue over here. So, I mean, like, this pillow looks perfect with it. I feel like it's going to be really great for grays. It's going to be great when we pull in like berry colors like we have here and like reds for the holidays. It's great for like autumn colors. I just, I love it. I'm completely obsessed. I'm super, super happy. And I honestly have spent a long time looking for rugs. So like I was saying, I spent a long time looking for a good rug for in this space. And the rugs that are super popular right now have like a kind of geometric, like Aztec-y kind of print to them, but they're very light. And that print is nice, but it's not, um, it's not very full. It's just like, like geometric. So it's more like lines um, and things like that, but it's not like a real pattern. And I didn't want something that was super pattern and like in your face, like a floral or in your face stripes. I really wanted something that was kind of modeled like this is, but has like a hint of a pattern and you can kind of still see like what the intent was. So I'm really excited. They have this rug in several different colors also. I think it's absolutely perfect. I honestly wish I'd gotten a bigger one, but they didn't have this color in a bigger size. This is a six, seven by nine, two. Um, so it's perfect for our space. Honestly, like it's going to be plenty big enough for our room, I think, but if I could have, I would have bought in like the next size up, um, which would have been like a seven by 10 or something, but I love it. I think my husband's really going to like it too, because it's not like feminine, you know, it's, it's nice and, um, I think pretty neutral. Um, and yeah, it just goes really well, I think with our space and our style and what I wanted out of the rug. So again, it's like 120 bucks from Walmart for a huge rug that's six seven by nine two like it's enormous so I'm really really happy about that and yeah it's good stuff now just need our sofa to arrive and I'll be a happy camper <sighs> the drugs <sighs> Woo! also I need to change it is hot as the dickens out here <laughs> uh. ah, look at home What do you think of your new rug? Hmm? You like it a lot? Look at my star shorts. I'm dressed for the fourth appropriately. You are very patriotic looking today, young man. Oh, you're crabby.
Hey! Hey guys, so status update. It is almost 9 o'clock. It's 8.40. Um, my hubby's putting Elias down for bed. We let him stay up a little later tonight, just in the hopes that he will sleep in <laughs> in the morning. Um, but also, he was kind of in the car, like in his car seat and sitting down a lot this evening. And we like to just get him um, nice and tired. So by like just being at home and playing for a while. So we came home around 7.45, maybe closer to eight. Um, we stopped at the Dollar Tree after dinner and I picked up a couple of things which I did not grab. And then we also stopped by Sam's Club because we needed to get some formula for him. It's crazy in the stores right now, so I didn't even go in. Um, Elias didn't go in either. My husband just ran in and got um, a can of formula that will last us. And then I think I'm going to just place an order on Sam's Club because I have to get things for his party. Um, and then like diapers and wipes and maybe some food for him, for Elias. But the they don't carry um, those things in the store, so I would have to place an order to be shipped to our house anyway. So I might just order everything. The rest of it's like... You know, it's, it's not food. It's just like paper plates and cups and stuff like that. So anyway, but what I'm doing right now is I'm going through the um, decor items for his party because I want to get anything else that we need ordered tonight so that it will arrive to us in plenty of time. We can start planning things out and kind of get organized as far as the party decorations. So let me grab what we picked up at the Dollar Tree and then I will show you guys what we have so far. All right, guys. So... This is one reason why you really have to like take a look at what you have and kind of edit down because I have a lot more than I thought I did. So I'm just gonna start by explaining to you guys what we have here. So these are some tassel banners. I made these. Um, this is burlap ribbon. It's like a maybe a one inch. It's kind of folded on itself, but it's one inch. And then this is all just fabric. So Kiki, of course she chooses this time to play with a toy. Um, so this fabric was fabric squares from Walmart. If you go to their fabric department, they have like a place that's basically like extras or like scraps. So it's like the ends of rolls and they just cut them into fabric squares. So they're pretty large. Um, I was able to get eight pieces. I, th I think eight, yeah, eight pieces um, of fabric out of each one. And I just cut it into long strips. It wasn't like any like measured at all. I mean, like the edges are, are not perfect at all. Um, like you can tell like this one it's jagged, but like, it doesn't matter. It's just like a nice, um, tassel you know, banner. And so the kind of like the jaggedness makes it, you know, gives it character and makes it look, um, like worn, I think. But I just chose a bunch of fabrics that looked nice together. So in the same color families, and then I just did, um, different, um, like geometric patterns as well as solids. So I pulled out the solid colors that I knew I wanted to be the theme for his party. If I didn't mention this, his theme is wild one. So it's based off of where the wild things are. Um, there's cake on this one from his, uh, photo shoot, but, um, yeah, so it's based off of where the wild things are. So that's the theme. Kiki, here, here's your toy. Here. Take your toy. Good gracious. So anyway, so I made, this one is just tassels. And so is this one back here. This one actually looks a little more full. I just did this one last night. Um, so I'm probably going to add the rest of the fabric that I have to this guy to give it kind of the same um, like fullness as this one back here. And then this is a longer one and it's our um, kind of like word banner. So it says wild one and I'm going to get a little creature like the silhouette of one of the creatures and put it on here. I just need to do that and like print it on black cardstock or something. Um, and then I'll just paste it onto this little flag. These flags are from the Dollar Tree. And then um, it came with this, uh, this on this like cord, I don't know, string, whatever. Um, and they're, they're plain. So you can add onto them whatever you want. So that's why I decided to use that. And then I just added more of the fabric tassels to the ends and the middle and all that. So this will get strung up where our like picture um, area is. Oh my gosh. Okay, she doesn't want one toy, she wants all the toys. Okay, you're all right. So that's it as far as the fabric. I wanna say I spent maybe $20 for the fabric um, here, and maybe even less. There's one thing of, of ribbon that I have not used, which is 
this guy. I was thinking of adding pieces of this into the banner, but I don't even think I need it. I think it has enough texture and interest without it, so I'll probably just return this, which I don't know. It was about, I don't know, probably a couple bucks. I'm not sure. I have my receipt somewhere, but anyway, so there's that. And then these guys I've been collecting over the past probably eight months, honestly. Ever since I went back to work, I just started checking out Target every time I went into Target to see if they had these balloons. And they were pretty hard to find. I've noticed recently that they have them in stock a lot more frequently, but when I first started looking, they did not. So this is a gold one. It's just one of the big, like, uh, metallic ones. This is actually 34 inches high, so it's going to be really good for pictures. And then this is the spelled out one. These are 12 by 27 inches, so again, pretty large. Um, that might be the whole thing inflated, but still, I mean, that's like, you know, almost 30 inches, so pretty big. Um, so I have both of those as options. I may use one, I may use both. Um, who knows? And then I have this gold tassel banner. I don't think I bought this for Elias, but um, since we have it, I'll use it because gold is one of the like accent colors. And then these two chalkboard signs, these are actually from Walmart also, and I just used chalk pen to write on them. I'm going to clean them off and rewrite on them for the party, but these were just from his um, photo shoot. So I'm just using these as, um, I'll just have these around. So on like maybe the dessert table and probably like the entrance table. Um, so this would be the dessert table. I'll eat you up. I love you so. And then this one would be like the sign in table or something. These we got from the Dollar Tree tonight. This is just um, black balloons. And then I did make a crown for him out of um, this like metallic foam that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I just added this little um, like, I don't know what you call it. I want to call it elastic, but it's not. Um, so I don't know, kind of cord thing. It's from a foam Frisbee. So if you go in the kids section, um, they have these or Frisbee a from a foam um uh, so this little cord thing is from a foam visor. If you go in the kids section, they have these and I just took it off the visor. Um, the visor was like $2 or something. So, and I think I had a coupon for it. Um, so anyway, so I just made that and he'll probably wear this maybe, um, when he does his cake. But other than that, it'll just be decoration. And then I also pulled out this, wreath i have one of these that's hung up already but i've always had just a second one i got these at hobby lobby maybe a year ago and they were on sale for like 10 or 12 dollars a piece so i got two it was all they had or <laughs> probably would have gotten more um, but i really like them and i like that it pulls in the greenery so i might use that as some decoration also this is our letter board that we've had since um, he was born so i'm gonna add like change out the letters and just put um something about like his birthday or um, like a wild one or wild thing or a quote from the book. I do need to get a book still because we want one for everyone to sign for him. And all right, coming around to the other side of the bed here. Um, this crate is one of the two that I got from Walmart for his photo shoot. So I may use that. I may not. It's really nice to be able to like um, just kind of tear things up on here. So if we wanted to put like different desserts on here and have like different levels on our dessert table or something, it's pretty nice to do that. Or even just the sign in table. Um, if we want to have say like um, this sign and then like kind of instructions on what to do and like pictures of him and then like the sign in book kind of down on like the lower level or something. I don't know. So just different options for that. Um, as far as what we picked up at Dollar Tree, along with the balloons over there, we got three of these um, yellow tablecloths, three green, um, two sets of yellow napkins, three sets of green napkins, and two sets of black napkins. So I think the only other thing I'm going to pick up are, or order, besides the book, are um, more balloons because I want to do like a kind of big feature balloon wall in our home and probably outside so that people can see like our house pretty easily um, and maybe even by our pool area also. Well, I had two pairs of glasses on for a second. Um, so that's everything I have so far for Elias's birthday. I do still have to get um, the things to make his party favors. I think I'm going to do like a printable um, little like tag to put on the bag for the little treat that we're going to give out. I think I'm going to do chocolate covered pretzels 
and or chocolate dipped pretzels and um, we'll just dip them in like white chocolate and probably white chocolate that's dyed like green also with like sprinkles that's those are super easy and they're like really good for adults because they're not super sweet um, but you know I mean it's mostly gonna be like adults at his birthday party there there will be kids here too but it's not like a kids like birthday party it's for him but there's not you know he doesn't really have like he has friends <laughs> like from daycare but you know it's not like a, a for his friends it's more just like a family party so that's kind of everything that's where I am so far I feel a lot better honestly like just laying everything out I've been totally stressed out and feeling like I don't have anything done <laughs> or ready for his birthday even though I've had all these ideas going on so seeing everything and kind of where we are right now feels really good I just want to get the things ordered from Sam's Club so that we have those on the way um, and then the couple of items I need to pick up from Amazon so I think I'm gonna do um, a set of like confetti balloons there's some sets on Amazon that have like four or five different colored balloons and they actually show you how to do the balloon arch so it's like a balloon arch kit if you want to make one at home um, and you can always like cut it and you know make it into two small arches or just like two little clusters or you know multiple clusters or what have you um, but it gives you some flexibility with that so I think that's a really great idea I'm gonna get um, one of those that has like some green and gold and white in it and then we'll do that um, we'll have all this stuff out and I feel like with that and I'm gonna also get some little cutouts um, to go in like cupcakes or um, little treats cutouts of the creatures I should say the little wild thing creatures um, and that's gonna be it so pretty low budget um, birthday planning and I really like to do things DIY where I can as long as it's not going to be more expensive than just purchasing the items so like I said this um, banner that I made that says wild one they if you go on Etsy you can buy one of these for like 25 or 30 dollars or you can just go to Walmart and the Dollar Tree and make yourself one for what five dollars ten dollars I did buy the stickers um, the black letters on here from Hobby Lobby also but just use a coupon and it's a few bucks so definitely like look at things like that it's simple I mean it's it's really really simple all I did was cut fabric knot it onto the string and add stickers onto little banner flags so really easy it does not take any like creativity or genius whatsoever <laughs> to put this together at least I don't feel like it does so just kind of keep your eye out and see um, what inspires you or what you think is nice or what would work for your theme um, and just go from there just run with it and you know if it doesn't work out you've, you're out a couple bucks and you can always purchase something that uh, will work for you instead but you know you may as well try it yourself and save yourself some money so that's my tip for today try it before you buy it <laughs> All right, friends, so I think I'm going to end the vlog here for the night and just relax and watch The Bachelorette for a little bit and snuggle my hubby. <laughs> so I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you are not new or if you are new, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Honestly, you guys, if you don't know, a thumbs up for us on YouTube is the biggest compliment that you can get. It means you like our videos, you want to see more of them, and it really makes us smile. So thank you, friends, so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.